and we're going to take a look at something called conditional formatting. Now conditional formatting has been around for a few iterations of Excel, but it's really hitting its stride here in this most recent version of 2007. If I look at this drop down list, I'm actually offered a whole different series of things that I can do with my uh, conditional formatting. There are a lot of presets built in. So for example, what I can do is I actually have the ability to come in here and have the computer take a look at if a particular cell, let me just come in out here and select one, if this cell, the current office supply, is greater than or less than the minimum required before we have to reorder. So if I come up to conditional formatting and I go to highlight cells, I can say is the current cell less than and then I have the ability to select the cell that I want it to look at. Okay, So what I've basically said is the cell I've selected, is it less than cell B5, the minimum that I need to meet? If so, then what the computer is going to do is what's in the second part of this dialog box, it's going to fill uh, the cell with a light red color and the text is going to be dark red. Now I do have the ability to customize that as well. I can come in here and either pick from one of these presets or I can actually go to custom format and I can mix my own uh, formatting for this cell if I wanted to. So maybe what we'll do is we'll have it show up um, orange. Okay. When I click OK, that's now gone into effect. Now, I definitely want that same formatting to be applied to the rest of the cells on this spreadsheet, but I don't really want to have to go in and recreate that same custom uh, conditional formatting for each and every cell. It's going to be far too time consuming. And unfortunately, there isn't a way that I can really do it all in one fell swoop. What I'm going to do now that I've achieved the formatting I want is I'm going to use the copy command. You can use control C or you can use the icon up here. Then I'm going to select the cells that I want to have that exact same formatting and I'm not going to choose paste, okay, because paste is going to take the number 10 and everything with it. Instead, I'm going to come up here to paste special. Now if you remember from the intermediate class, we talked about some of the great things that are available within paste special. If I come up here and go to paste special, I can opt to paste only the formats. And when I click OK, you can now see the conditional formats have gone into effect on those cells.